There are two major fears holding home sellers back from jumping into the market today. What happens if they put their house up for sale and someone wants to buy it and they have no place to go? And what happens if they find a great house that they'd love to move into, but they don't yet have a buyer? Well, I can understand why that would feel scary. I've got two contingencies that will help ease you through the process of your buy-sell scenario so that you feel comfortable and protected every step of the way. The first is called a home sale contingency. This is when we say to the owner of the house you'd like to purchase, I would love to buy your home, but I'm going to need to sell mine first. That means if anything goes wrong with my existing buyer right up until the last moment of the closing, I'm going to need you to agree to give me back my deposit and let me out of the agreement. Now, there's plenty of home sellers out there who will agree to something like this. You just have to ask. The second is the suitable housing contingency. This is when we say to the buyer of your home, I'd love to sell you this house, but in order to do so, I'm going to need a few weeks to identify suitable property. If I can, we'll move forward and set a firm closing date. If I'm not able to, I'll give you your deposit back and we'll agree to part ways. Now, I've been guiding people through this exact type of scenario for over a decade. When you need me, I'll be here to help get you from where you are to where you wanna be. You just have to ask for help.